The federal government has taxed the National Institute for Security Studies to live up to its responsibility and fulfill its mandate. The secretary to the government of the Federation, Boss Mustafa, made this known in Abuja while inaugurating the governing board of institute. Mustafa said he is confident that with the board now in place, the capacity of the federal government to solve the myriad of security challenges bedeviling the nation has become richer. With the tenacity of purpose, focus and a burning desire to excel, I have no doubt that you can achieve the overall objective for the establishment of the Institute, namely making a difference and contributing to the security and stability of our dear country. We recognize the fact that there are several challenges that are facing the nation. Uh, our belief is that we can contribute to mitigating the very challenges that are facing the nation. So it is our intention uh, really to nurture uh, an institute that will be unlike the other institutions because we intend to actively participate in the process of advising the government as well as enhancing professionalism in the various services. And joining now via phone is a retired military officer, General Sam Moma. Good afternoon to you, General. Good afternoon. And thank you for joining us on News on the Hour. Now, would you agree that the insecurity problem has gotten worse? And what would you largely attribute as the cause of this, please? Pardon? Now, would you agree that the security issue has gotten worse? And what would you largely attribute as a cause of this? That what has gotten worse? The security issue in the country. Okay, yeah. Definitely the issue. Nigeria, things have gotten worse. And uh, I think it's essentially because of um, of our failure of uh, security architecture of Nigeria not being properly taken care of. And uh, that is mainly because people commit offenses and they are not being punished. And if that continues, of course, things will continue to get worse. Also, uh, the problem of Nigeria has been handled piecemeal. And there have been some sort of policies and religions tend to influence most of the action of the leadership. So I believe that uh, to solve this problem, there are four steps we must take. First is that we must restructure Nigeria. And restructuring Nigeria means taking the following four steps. First, there must be a national conference. And then the national conference will be followed by a referendum of the outcome of the conference. And then thirdly, there must be a people's constitution. And then with that constitution, we must then implement the, to the letters the content of that constitution. So these are the four steps I believe that can be taken to check the malaise that is uh, bedeviling Nigeria today. Okay. Now, was it inevitable that the proposition for a multi-coup or a similar project would have come up sooner or later? And, and what do you think are the merits of this? Yes, uh, I want to call it necessary because we have not restructured. I can bet you if we restructure Nigeria, Nigerian police will be equally restructured. They will be more efficient and devoted and professional. And once that happens, there may not be need for multi or state police. That is my own concern. We must overhaul the police force. 
the, the police force must be overhauled completely. And that is part of the restructuring effort we are talking about. If that is done, then of course, there may not be need to have a Motoko or state police, or regional police. Are there merits to, to, to this power military security outfit? Are there merits to them? Of course, right now there is merit for it. Yes. It's necessary because the police has failed and uh, there is so much lawlessness in the society. So it, it, it's, uh, it's a worthy venture. I, I, I applaud the initiators of Omoteku and others don't was uh, follow suit. They must do the same. They must protect the life and properties of their citizens. You did, amazingly, you didn't mention um, the failure of the Nigerian police force. Now, committee policing is being considered. How might this work to address the problems of insecurity? Yeah, well, committee police is essential. At this, at this stage now, we have no choice than to rely on community policing. And uh, they will now marry themselves up and become part of the regional or state police force. Now, aside from community policing, what do you think can be done to begin to nail the coffin on our national insecurity challenges? Well, uh, we have no choice for now. You know, the, the national police force will still go on, but they will be part of, uh, the community policing will be part of the national police force. They must work hand in hand. They must have the linkage, you know, General Sam Moma, thank you very much for joining us on News on the Hour and for your contribution. Thank you so much. Well done.